Hello YouTube. Hopefully this will be quick. Um, but Google Earth is beginning to worry me. It, it's <coughs> full and not nice looking. Actually, it's evil looking. It, well, I don't know about evil, but it uh, it it look it looks dreadful. It speaks of dread to me, and um, I, I'm not really capable of interpreting stuff. But somebody that's psychic or into symbols and stuff a lot more than I, I've never been into them, needs to start looking at this stuff because um, I, I know that there's a book here. There's all kind of messages, hints, and things like that, and um, there's something nasty going on in Antarctica. Number one, it's never always had a cloud cover like that. Always, 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 always. And um, all this three-dimensional stuff coming up over with um, painful, painful-looking pictures. Uh, I just wish someone else would come look at this and, and do something with it. And I... <clears throat> There's, um, or does it have to do with the South Pole and, and that's where the um, uh, magnetosphere comes out of the Earth, which would be a fantastic source of power that I know that power lovers, power mongers would, <laughs> would lust after. And uh, we, <clears throat> everybody's been down there for a long time and they, they do some really strange things, secret things. I, my innocent self thought that it was, um, just, you know, a place for science, stop that, a place for scientists and um, nerdy scientists to go, hell, half the stuff down there isn't even real, and I, I, I know that they can heat the water, and I'm afraid they've been doing that with all this white stuff over the top of it, uh, I've seen them do it, and Bill Gates said that they had um, ways to move the ice, you know, for drilling for oil and stuff. What, what do you mean ways to move the oil? I mean ways to move, stop that, dead gum, ways to move the ice. Somebody trying to tell me something? Because, oh, gross, look at that, now we've got some sex. Um, I didn't want to see that. There, that's good. Um, here, we had ways to move the ice, but it's not like you drill on the edges of the ice. That's a, a whole big continent. What do you mean by ways to move the ice? Well, I think they melt it. I don't know. I don't know, but... Somebody needs to come be paying attention too. Look, look at this stuff, and there's there's words and numbers and letters and yucky looking animals. Why is it doing that to me? Look at this thing coming out. The girl, the deep thing under Antarctica. I mean, under South America, uh, Africa. Is that where the supposedly a new ocean was forming? Well, and who is that guy? He's on here a lot. <laughs> what are these things? We have a boat. We have some <laughs> manipulation here and some letters again. Lord, but it's thick. It's pictures. Look, hands coming up and stuff seeping from under it and creepy crawlers coming out from under it. I don't know why it's doing that, but... Um, and uh, I didn't even start there. <laughs> this is coming from Japan. This is a face. Well, the tail comes from Japan or something. And it's going under Oregon, Washington faces, I mean real faces, this is coming from, look at that stuff under the side of Japan, going all the way down to, in, in, in these islands, and if you go, start, if you go in here, you'll see all kind of pictures, it looks like it's just a mess of dots, but it's not, you'll see all kind of pictures if you go look. It doesn't look pretty either. 
faces, more faces, and and on. And they look familiar, but I don't know who they are, and you probably need to. Kind of back up now, cause so you can see. And the North Pole, which is in the water of, of Greenland. Where's Greenland? I can't even see under this stuff. Right there. Um, the North Pole is right there. De they're manipulating something. See the lines? The North Pole never had clouds around it and such. Now, now there's clouds coming up out of it. Look, look how thick down in the water. An article looks funny. Everything looks funny. The whole earth looks funny. All these partly recognizable creatures. All this thick, thick, thick stuff. Look. Look at that stuff. This, what kind of satellite imagery is this? What kind of clouds are these things? Look at this blue crap. Gray crap. Thick stuff. Thick painting pictures. <laughs> what? What is this? Thick. It's. It's not supposed to have all this thick stuff like that. I just find it very worrisome, and I wish someone else would take a look. Oh, well, we're going to see the manipulation in it. Yeah, it's definitely manipulated. And look, what in the world are y'all doing? Look at that crap. That is ocean. Supposedly. Lord have mercy. More faces coming. And faces, you probably could recognize this is a electromagnetic manipulation. I mean, it's that same kind of crap that forms in the clouds, wispy, quick moving, and the gray. Oh, Lord, look at the gray stuff. I don't like the grays, and I don't like the pinks anymore. Not the wispy, fast moving. Form. Oh, Lord, have mercy, and look at this. Not good, not good, not good. Layers of manipulation. Do you see that? Layers. Somebody help me out. Somebody with some sense about, about um, you know, symbols and being able to read this kind of stuff. There's all kinds of people that love it. Well, come look at Google Earth. Sorry, I was spinning it around so much. I had to cut that off. I was getting too excited, and um, a black thing came up on the video. So, it's just as well. It was too long. Um, at any rate... Uh, yeah, I'll try to get somebody to look at this who might who might be interested, who might can read it, because uh, I know it's telling it's telling us something. There's pictures. It's not. It's. I mean, it's easy to see, detailed, and it really worries me that stuff between. Oh, well, good. It's changing. Oh no, that's the other one. That's the one with Florida. Oh, now it's got a ring around Florida. It was just a face, but now it's got a ring around Florida. Sorry, I was doing it around so fast, but uh, this is just this is too much. Um, I have one other thing that I need to show you. Um, good Lord, there's scenes of all kind of stuff everywhere. There's, you can um, get the go to the NASA channel and get the ionosphere on here, and it makes a totally different picture. And you can take off the totally different... Oh, God, I, that's not my Mark Adopi, is it? Oh, I hope not on the other side. I just, the world has gone crazy, and it doesn't even use the logic. I wish they'd at least try to fool me on the news and stuff, you know. 
but um, this makes totally different pictures and this video is getting too long well I guess I'm supposed to be looking down here then there's all kinds <laughs> you can see if, if you know the person you'd be able to recognize them immediately it's, it's such detailed photographs almost and I know that these are set, these letters and words are saying something you can let, do the layers off one at a time. Oh, somehow I, pretty, I just, I don't remember anything. I just play with it and do it. That makes a different picture. Holy, totally different pictures and things. <laughs> this just layers on this. Layers and layers. Let me show you how to get this while I'm thinking about it how you get the clouds and the the uh, rain on here because you go to the layers you have search and places and layers now you can't use the desktop version that goes on the browser you have to download the whole thing and um, put it you know save it to your desktop but the browser version you, can, you don't get these choices but, I mean the tool the toolbar version you have search, places, and layers. And layers starts with primary database. I click that plus sign, and it's borders and labels, and buildings, 3D buildings, ocean, and then weather. Click the plus sign on weather, and you click the clouds and the radar button. And that's how you get the clouds and radar on it. Without it, you just got that. But layers, and then primary database, down to weather and you click the clouds and the radar and I'll put a and that's, that's all you do to get that what I've been using most of the time and I'll put a link to the NASA site for the ionosphere uh, actually if someone just does this without the ionosphere that'd be great but I'll try to remember to put a link to it in the description which will be the total description okay. and we'll continue that, someone needs to be looking at that that can interpret people interpret everything and Google Earth has been around a while so certainly certainly somebody can interpret that see there's that one the lighter layer and it make different pictures well except I don't have the clouds you have to go to the NASA website to get the ionosphere but it, even if you just interpret the other one look, look at that now it's going up the coast of Canada too and it's thick it goes on the side of Japan down to these islands and even pictures under the ocean what are those missiles what lord I don't know but anyway stop looking Ursula one other thing I wanted to tell you take that off I can Someone, we all pass the word around and get, so, surely someone's interested in figuring out what these things are. I can't even recognize countries in the Gulf here. Somebody help me figure out what these things are. I just think they're important. And they're getting bigger. And they look ominous to me. They've been there since July 3rd, 2010. I think we piece set them up. I think it's one of the reasons they needed privacy. But I have no idea what they are. This is 11,000 feet deep here. I've done a video on it, but didn't get anybody interested. These things are just getting real big. And they started out flat and two-dimensional there's something they've been they've been here and BP left them in the Gulf or, or <laughs> whoever was working in the Gulf I'm sure it wasn't BP's um, job they were the excuse they're growing hairs or whatever they're getting real thick they were flat forever and ever and ever now they're, they're growing and changing shape I just don't know. But 
it's an unusual thing. I haven't seen them anywhere else in the world. And if someone can ch show me where there's any on any seafloor in the world, it makes me nervous that they put them here like that. You can see them forever. God, they're just a lot bigger than when they started. They are um, off the coast of New Orleans. Should be standing up. And they're off the first big hump. By the way, they changed that seafloor. I don't have time to go into it now. New Orleans, the first big hump, or you could say the middle hump even. And where the Gulf of Mexico is on the map, and you'll see them because you can see them from, from way up, from a thousand miles up. What are those? Y'all help me figure it out. Okay, y'all have a good day.